What is poppin' y'all? Hope y'all doing great, doing fantastic, all that good stuff. We are freaking in Nebraska. Heck yeah, shout out to Nebraska. If you're from Nebraska, put down in the comments below what there is to do in Nebraska. What I'm doing today is, if you guys have ever heard of the thing called Stonehenge, I'm going to Carhenge. Yes, Carhenge. I've never heard of it, but I'm an hour and seven minutes away from it. I'm excited, it's in Nebraska. We're here, we can put another sticker on the back window. I'm kind of regretting not going to Colorado now just so I could have put that sticker on there but it'll be all right. Right before I got into Nebraska though, this is absolutely wild. Let me show you what I seen. It's a freaking bison. What the hell? That's crazy though. So yeah, I seen it. I was driving down this road. I was coming this way. I was hauling ass and the next thing I know, I look over and I see walking out in the yard. I'm like, well, I definitely have to swing through and see this. Look, I didn't even park right. I just, <laughs> I just pulled up. It's too freaking cool. He's rolling around and stuff. That's awesome. animal I haven't seen on the trip yet. We finally freaking seen one. That's awesome. Oh, geez. oh there he goes again. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah, we seen a freaking buffalo slash like uh, uh, bison. That's what they're called. Bison on the side of the freaking road out in the wild. I'm like, what in the freaking world? That was right before I got into uh, or about a half an hour before I got in here to Nebraska. But that was just crazy. I've uh, never been to Nebraska, so I'm excited to be here. And uh, like I said, we got about an hour and seven minutes, hour and six minutes now before we're at the destination. And once we get there, I'll pick y'all back up unless something crazy happens, but uh, I'll see y'all there. We finally made it here to Nebraska, and this is absolutely crazy. We made it to this place called Car Hinge. Look at this, Car Hinge, yes. It's like Stonehenge, but made out of cars. This is gonna be wild. Let me flip the camera and show you this. All right, so this is what it looked like when it first got originally out here. It was just a bunch of cars piled up like that, that they piled up on top of each other. I think this is the guy that actually probably did it. Um, looks like it. And uh, this is a story about everything here, so you guys can pause it and read that. But uh, this is insane. So this right here, it looks like the last stop. Maybe, oh, actually, I think you go up this way and around, and then you end up over here. So let's do that, because they see all the placards this way. But this is the freaking car right here. There's a thing inside of them. Yeah, it's a real car. What the heck is back here? It's a real car. It's just all painted up, all the same color. Um, but yeah, we're going to save this for the end. We're going to make our way up around here. So I guess it was built in uh, uh, June 19th, 2004. That's crazy. They were expected to open up, open June uh, 2044. So that's crazy. They got open way sooner than that. And then there's a bunch more information on you guys can read and stuff like that. If you guys want to but uh let's make our way up here this is cool they got uh what the heck is this is like a wind chunk is it a spin no it doesn't spin does this spin that does spin <laughs> that's crazy so let's make our way back down the path here now we're coming up to this thing here this is an old buick steering wheel definitely wild it's just stuffed in the whole steering column and everything right in the ground that's wild but uh let's keep making our way up the path i guess this car's here and it's made to so you can sign it and stuff like that um i don't have any markers or nothing so let's go around here and see oh yeah they've been painted on it so it's 2020 there um man someone got all the way up there that's wild yeah and all the way up to there too so they don't had to climb it but uh that's really cool so you can uh paint it and tag it and stuff like that the rest of them look all like they're painted normal where they don't want you to mess with them and then over here <laughs> this one here has like the big wagon wheels on it pretty crazy and uh whatnot and it has these like weird little i don't know what that'd be for if you know what those would be for up on top of this let me know um but definitely it's all covered up in metal so pretty wild over here we got a bright green car just face first right in the ground and then right next to the bright green car is uh something really wild it's a car on top of a car okay the four seasons okay well you got green double yellow and then uh looks like it's like a pinkish color it might be hard to tell on camera but it's a pinkish color and then white so that's the four seasons i guess so i'm guessing summer spring fall winter is what i'm gonna guess but dang that's crazy and if i hold the camera like this it looks like the car is coming forward which 
it actually, it really does feel like it's coming forward, which is absolutely wild. If I come from the side, maybe we'll get a better look. All right, so from the side here, you see this one straight up, and you see how it starts to angle out a little bit? Yeah. Uh, that's pretty sketchy, but it hold, it's holding together by that wire right there, all the way down and over to there, so should be safe. So now the path kind of veers off this way or this way. I'm not gonna go, oh, I was like, what the heck is that back there? But uh, back there, there's uh, this water in the field. So let's go this way, because this looks a little more interesting. Um, that's just like a frame looking of a car. I don't know what the heck that is, but this right here is pretty cool. It's like wind chimes. So, and this is like the frame of the car. And I don't know what these exactly are, but uh, they got like pieces of stuff up inside of them. There it is. And they, uh, they're wind chimes. Definitely pretty cool. And there's another car over here buried into the ground. We've seen a lot of cars on this trip just like buried into the ground from the Cadillac Ranch all the way to the Volkswagen Beetle Bug Ranch. So this one here, what does this one say on it? Oh, there's some tires and stuff right there buried into the ground. And uh, a gas tank. <laughs> What's the gas tank doing out here? But here's some tire. I'd say they're pretty dry rotted. <laughs> But uh, this one here is just chilling over here. And then uh, we got a dinosaur down there. So let's make our way down there. And as I was saying, there's another path over on that side that we didn't take. Um, it just has another car in the ground. And then right back there has some kind of, uh, I don't even know what you want to call it, but, and then up over there is the car hinge. So, but we're making our way down here, which they have a car over there in the ground and they have this big dinosaur. So. Let's see. So here we are at another car buried into the ground. This one has a saying on it and everything like that. Pretty wild, definitely pretty wild. But I like to check around and see if the back, oh wow, this one here. It's an actual full car in the ground. I wanna know how much they actually bury into the ground and what they put in it. Like, is it like cemented in there? Cause it doesn't move anywhere. It does not move anywhere. So I'm guessing that they put it down inside there and then they cement it down in there. I don't know if you know how they do it or did they just bury it normal? Um, I'm not too sure, but all in all though, it's pretty cool. Now, over here though, is the freaking dinosaur. Look at this thing. This thing is made out of car rims and frames. Car rims and frames. So as you can see down the spine here, it is uh, cut in half, looks like car rims. Pieces that are cut in half inside of half. So I'll come over this side of the car, or, or the dinosaur. You could kind of see here, it's like, they're cut into like multiple pieces. And then this is all like framing of the car. And I don't know exactly what this would be. Oh, that might be the shocks actually. That might be the shocks. Or not the shocks, the, the springs or whatever they call them. And then uh, up there's his head. That looks like an oil pan. So now we're making our way over here. It's like a fish, it looks like. This thing is cool. The see right there. Another donut wheel has an eyeball. Uh, looks like it might be some, has some teeth and stuff. Oh man, some more framing. Uh, looks like a bicycle rack or something inside of it. And then uh, over here, you can kind of see these like little things are coming out of the ground. Let's see if this right here says what it is. It tells you what he is right here and everything like that. That's wild. Um, really cool. But let's make our way over to that car in this flower actually. And there's another car over there. Look at that one. There's cars everywhere. That car is like almost like buried flush into the ground. This here's a flower. Let's see what this flower is made out of. Looks like a fan wheel. Or as it goes to spin. Yeah, it's like a fl or flywheel, a flan a fan wheel. A flywheel painted like a flower, so that's pretty cool. This one here has 90% of it, or not 90, but about a little over 50% of its body buried in the ground. Its hood's popped out, half the doors and stuff, so pretty wild. What if they have motors in them and stuff, so I can't tell. Can you see? Yeah. It looks like it still has motor in it. That's wild. I figured they would take the motor and stuff out of them, but that's, you don't see this every day. You don't see a car buried like that in the ground every day. Now we're approaching this car. It's buried about half of its body down. That's crazy. The wheels are gone on the front and everything. This right here, you can see it. It's like literally, maybe someone like tried to dig it out a little bit right, right in here or something, but that's wild, man. And then you can see where it looks like people were jumping on it, on the roof of it or whatever, because it's all dented up and here's all dented up. So I'm guessing at first 
it probably wasn't that dented, but maybe it was. Anyways, now it's time to go to Car Hinge. Let's freaking go. So we're at Car Hinge right now, and this is what I see. The first thing that catches my eye is right there, this old truck. It reminds me of freaking Mater from the movie Cars. Definitely wild. Let me know if you guys recognize any of these cars. There was a uh, thing inside the gift shop that told you what kind of cars were what, but man, this is wild. <laughs> Definitely freaking wild. This one here, this is like almost like the one, but has flipped upside down, has everything, but like the body's previously showed, or basically the body's buried, but the, um, the frame and everything's showing. That's crazy. And it looks like it still has the engine in it. Look at that. That's wild. <laughs> and then, as you can see over here, this is more of the inside of Car Hinge. Definitely insane. Man, that's so crazy. Who would have thought? Nebraska. In the middle of Nebraska, in nowhere land, they would find something like this. I've seen so much stuff on this road trip, it's just mind blows me. Now we're in the middle of it right now. This is wild, y'all. Absolutely freaking wild. The sun's going down. It's nice out. It was raining all the way here, and I'm glad it got nicer out. Man, imagine there's probably a bird nest up in there or something like that. Uh, so that's where the bird was, but this one here is even crazy. Look how much of it's just like, it looks like a, I don't know what this is. I don't know what half of these cars are that I can think of off the top of my head. But like I said, inside the gift shop, they had a thing that told you what every one of these cars were. And uh, it's definitely really cool though. Something I've never seen before. It's something very, very different. And fun fact, I actually did a uh, story on Stonehenge when I was younger. Don't ask me anything about it because I don't remember anything, but I had to do like a clay model and did a whole report and everything about it when I was younger and I was in school and uh, yeah. I don't have a passport to go see the actual Stonehenge, so I guess this will be the best I can do until I get a passport and go check out the real Stonehenge. But now I'm going to try to either one, find a room or knock out a couple hours of driving. I don't know exactly what time it is right now, but I wanted to get here sooner than later before the sun went down and we're catching it literally as the sun's about to go down in the next probably half an hour, 40 minutes. So perfect timing, but we're on the road again. Let's go. All right, y'all, so I kind of put myself in a pickle. I'm in the middle of nowhere, and uh, we're staying at this place called Nebraska Land. So uh, I had to call them on the phone, and they're gonna come down. But uh, it's not the nicest, but we'll see. It'll do. The next hotel from this one is like a two hour drive. So I'm gonna try to find a spot here. Like, and this is the only thing I can get. So we'll see what's up. Hopefully it's nice. Honest to goodness, the vibes I'm getting from here is definitely like the Bates Motel kind of vibe. But Hey, you know what? If it does the job, it does the job. Oh, it might be the nicest one I've stayed in so far. We'll see. So we just got into the room and oh my God, I've never slept in a room like this before. I literally brought everything that I own that's any value inside just in case. But got this chair here. Got a little desk over there. Got the air conditioner. I just turned it on. It's so hot in here right now. This bed, a lamp. It looks like an apartment. Like it looks like a house. Like that's the, I turned the TV on. Um, coming through here, this is the bathroom. And uh, everything, it looks like it's dirty, but it's not dirty. It's not dirty at all. It's just the caulking and stuff. But that window is a little crazy, but it'll do, it'll do. It's not the nicest, but it'll definitely work. I bought some cinnamon rolls at the gas station. So I have something to eat. I'm gonna eat those, call it a night, and uh, yeah, there it is, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I will pick y'all back up in the morning. 12 seconds later. All right, so I'm eating my cinnamon roll right over here, and I hear this freaking noise. I don't know where it's coming from. Can't read the bell. What the hell? Is it coming from? the hell? This is weird. So I like came up, I jiggled the handle and it stopped, but now it started again. Is it the toilet? What the hell? This is so weird. I can't deal with that sound all night. I was literally sitting here enjoying my food, hanging out, just relaxing, and I started hearing that freaking buzzing was. I was like, what the hell is that? But I think it's the toilet though. 
If it does that all night, I'm gonna lose my mind. Good morning, y'all. Hope you're doing great, doing fantastic, all that good stuff. So, slept pretty good actually last night. Not the craziest, nicest hotel, but it definitely did the job. My car's okay, I'd already checked on that. But, I gotta make my way to Iowa, Iowa today. But, tomorrow, we're gonna have the lottery ticket video from, what's the state called? Where are we even at? Nebraska. Lottery tickets from Nebraska. Never played them before, so definitely be on the lookout for that video. It should be out tomorrow. Um, and then we're going to Iowa. But all in all, though, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and we'll see you guys in Iowa. Like I said, every single day, keep on keeping on. Don't let me bring it down. See you tomorrow. Peace.